the study um, looked at some very conservative, low-cost, less invasive approaches to back-related leg pain. A randomized clinical trial with 12 weeks of intervention and two different types of interventions. One intervention was home exercise with advice, and the other one was the same treatment combined with spinal manipulation as needed over those 12 uh, weeks of treatment. A study showed was that in the short term, after 12 weeks of, of treatment, the combined group of adding spinal manipulation was more effective and actually substantially more effective than doing home exercise alone. The strange things about back pain and with this complication of back-related leg pain is it seems to be getting worse and more prevalent with time, even though there is increase in the amount of treatment that's being applied to the diagnostic tests that are being utilized for it, or even surgery that, that's being given to, to patients with this kind of condition. And yet, there's no real clear emerging evidence that, that it leads to better outcomes. So it's important to look at, at conservative interventions and, and really find out one or several of those may be effective treatment options. Since this it's going to be a chronic condition. We would want to know, is there a way that we can prevent the acute episodes to turn into chronic? Because we know that the, the economic burden and morbidity of these conditions are, are the most severe when we talk about the chronic conditions. So the challenge is really to individualize it based on better information on patient characteristics like their demographics, their psychosocial characteristics, and, and maybe even some of their genetic predispositions. In terms of this field with low back pain, back-related leg pain, we really need to know more about the cost-effectiveness of these therapies that we're looking at, self-care and the manual therapies. The patient's perceptions, what does it take to get them engaged in these therapies, particularly the self-care, what motivates them? When you're teaching patients to go off and do something on their own, well, someone isn't necessarily going to make a lot of money off of that. Uh, so I think that's one thing, is there's a pretty powerful force out there in this country that people are making money off of chronic conditions. So how do you convince the system that this is the way to go and how do you really change it? How do you change your clinicians to practice this way? I think part of it is, is changing bigger policy on how do they get reimbursed. And so those are really big, big challenges that go beyond just what can be done here.